Hey, I'm Melissa Dawson, and on today's Food Finds on Novus TV, I'm taking your taste buds on a European vacation. Traveling to Spain can cost you more than a pretty penny, so if you're craving a rose con pollo or patatas bravas, I have a cost-effective solution that'll make you feel like you stepped into a tapas bar in the heart of Barcelona. Bienvenido, welcome to the sardine can in the heart of Gastown. Well, welcome inside the sardine can, everyone. As you can tell, I've had a bit of an outfit change. I'm now in the Jose Club. Right? How do I look? You look excellent. You look like a Barcelona fan. Perfect. Well, we're behind this side of the counter now, so I think we're ready to get cooking some delicious tapas from the looks of it. So what's the first one we have up? We're going to do migas. Which is? Which is uh, translated to crumbs. So it's leftovers from the night before. Okay. Our grandma... These look like very good leftovers. If I had these leftovers in my fridge, I'd be happy, girl. Uh, so it's stale bread, some end pieces of serrano and chorizo, and we're gonna make something delicious out of it. Perfect, let's get started. We're gonna add our salty meat, so okay. chorizo and the serrano, and some serrano into the pan. So this is just all the ends of the meat? Then? Yes, it is. So you don't want Ooh, all, that, that all that to go to waste. Just getting a little bit of color, then we're gonna add our onion. Okay, then we have garlic next, right? Then we got, but we gotta wait for that oh. to caramelize a little bit. So we're gonna I'm move impatient. that around a little bit. Okay. Move that around. Bring yourself. Before we go any further, we're gonna okay. add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of chili. Okay, so just a little pinch of each. Yeah, pinch of each. Okay, perfect. Then we have our garlic. Okay, and then we're gonna have our chili. Okay, so we're gonna add our chili. That flavor and heat. Flavor and heat and a lot of color in there too. A lot of color. A lot of color. So oh, we're gonna right. add put a teaspoon of minced garlic in there. Okay. And we're gonna let that I cook up a little bit. That's looking like we're ready to add uh, half of the zucchini that you cut up for us earlier. That's looking like it's getting a little dry, so we're gonna add a little ladle of chicken stock. Okay. So that loosens it up a little bit. So it loosens up and stops it cooking a little bit. Okay, so what are we up to next? So up to next, we will add a little bit of tomato sauce. So okay. How much do you want me to add in? Maybe we're talking about three of those. Three of those. So we're going to add, are they all bread? Okay. And we toast it a little bit to... So all of this goes in? All of it. So just let it all fall naturally into the plate. And I will go with them in China for you. And of course, oil, we're in Spain. You have to. Fantastic. All right. And we're done. Migas. Tap is number one. Done. All right, so what are we doing second? Second, we'll be doing the prawns. So today we're going to add a little bit of our chili oil. We have so the chili uh, oil working away in there. Bubble a little bit. Okay. All right. So we so, want to see it bubble. Yeah, we want to see them. So we have our prawns there, and we're yeah. going to season them, of course. Of course. So we're going to season salt, pepper, chili, and a little bit of pepper. Covering all the prawns now, so... The prawns, so go ahead and put it... Put them in here. Into your hot pan with the bubbling oil. Ooh. And you can hear that sorry for the So we want to move them around a little bit. Yeah, sure prawns take no time. Prawns are so fast. This, I love making them at home. So now that you move them around a little bit, we're going to add more garlic to that. So there's already garlic in the oil, but we're gonna add more because we're gonna nice and garlicky. Right, so we're just gonna cover that up to so make sure they cook all the way through. Now these are working away. How much longer do we have on them? So we're gonna take the lid off. Okay. Let's see. You guys see how they're doing? Oh, they're almost there. Oh, look at those. Right, so we're gonna squeeze one of these lemons right in it. On top. Squeeze that in and just drop the lemon right in there once you're done. So great to have it. You know, it's basically served right to the table how you prepare it. And a little bit There's of green just for color. Than that. All right, so last but not least, we are on to our final tapas of the day. What are we making? Patatas bravas. Or our version. Delicious Spanish fries. Yes, our version of patatas bravas. <laughs> okay. Um, so they're a little bit different than what you find in Barcelona. Yes, because okay. in Barcelona they're all deep fried. They're supposed to be deep fried potatoes. Uh, Here, uh, unfortunately, we can't have a deep fryer, so. So we're kind of doing things the healthy way. The healthy way. So we use finger like potatoes. That. <laughs> we use finger like potatoes. We roast them in the oven. They've been seasoned a little bit already. They've been seasoned already. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the little pot and we're going to put it in our 
Oven? Okay. For about 45 Step minutes. Step one, easy enough. For about 45 minutes. Okay. And while that's cooking, mm -hmm. we're going to heat up our tomato sauce. Perfect. All right. All right. So those are nice and tender. Nice and tender. And our tomato sauce should be hot enough as well. Okay. So we're just going to add our tomato sauce right to the potatoes. Yes. And then we're going to add our aioli. How much today? Yeah, just, just go crazy. Go crazy, squeeze that right in there. And there you go, patatas bravas. That is so simple. Every single Anyone one of these things. Yes. Anyone can do this at home. Absolutely beautiful. And now, this is my favorite part of the segment, I get to eat all this. That is so incredible. That is absolutely fantastic. And I'm so proud that I actually kind of partially made that. Or something. Did it all yourself? <laughs> Honestly, you guys, with tapas like these in our own backyard, there's no need for that expensive plane ticket to Spain. Although I probably will go back again. But hey, at least we have authentic eats here, right? For Food Finds on Nova's TV, I'm Melissa Dawson. Salut!